Welcome to this session on steady state calculations, heat gain. So I'm going to switch to the calculations tab. And in this exercise, we're going to focus on running a cooling load calculation using the SIBSI heat gain tool from the steady state calculations group. So I'm going to go ahead and select the SIBSI heat gain. So it's calculating the report as soon as we open that tool and it produces the report. Now the, there's three tabs here. So the summary report gives us a summary report of the entire project, whereas the full report will actually give us a report basically room by room. So we can look at each room individually and, and detail it. Uh, and then there is a graph report, which puts everything onto a graph. So let's go back to that summary report. Note that it, it indicates our location, uh, the particular design day. It's considering the fins. So just sort of the design basis there. And then it gives us the summary results. We can see what the peak room loads are for each room, the time of that peak load, what that maximum temperature is. And then that the, the project total results there. So in the project total results, we're actually getting a sum for all the included rooms, showing us the peak heat gain and peak heat hour, and that gives us the peak load for the plant. On the full report tab, again, it's, it's room by room, so we can see each room in the building and then the total loads associated with that room on an hour by hour basis. And if we go to the graph tab, puts into a graph the different heat gains. And we can see, for instance, that our solar heat gain is the greatest on our graph. Now that's for the total project here. We can also look at it room by room. So for instance, I could look at the front lobby and see where the heat gain is coming from. Again, it's that solar load that is the greatest. I will notice here on the, the front lobby, it's almost up to 20 there. If I switch and compare that to the back lobby, we'll see that again, it, it's the solar load is the greatest, although it, it's not quite as high on the graph. And of course, that's because our front lobby is south facing and our back lobby is north facing. And so we could, we could take a look at that and see if we could make a change. Perhaps we could modify those fins and try to improve that heat gain that's on the front lobby. So let's close our, our heat gain dialog here and we'll go back to our global changes and we're gonna try a different fin type on our south facing windows. So I'm going to select the conditioned exterior rooms zone. And then I will select the windows tab and note that we have a window fin type on that tab. I'm going to toggle that. That's what we're going to change. And instead of the, the horizontal fin type one that we created, we're gonna use one of the library fins and so we're going to select this Colt solar fin, 400 millimeters. Projecting from window head. And then we're simply going to select apply. It won't add fins if we don't have a fin on a window. So it's not going to add fins to our north facing side. It's only going to replace fins that exist. So that was the fins that we added to the south facing surface. So I'm going to select apply and then we can close that. You'll actually see that change in the model. So we can see we actually have now a horizontally projecting fin instead of that angled fin that we had created 
And then I'm just going to go back to the calculations tab and select the SIBZ heat gain report again. And just to quickly view that, I'm going to go back to the graph. You may notice that our total heat gain from solar has decreased a little bit. And if we specifically go in and look at the front lobby, whereas before we could see that graph was, was almost up to 20, it has come down somewhat. And that would be due to the change we made to the fins. Now let's go back to that summary report as well. And we're going to scroll all the way down on the summary report. And note that it does give us our peak coincident plant load, supply airflow rate, and our fresh airflow rate. And we should find that peak coincident plant load has decreased some because of that change we made to the fence. So I'm going to go ahead and close this dialog. And in the next session, we'll take a look at summertime heat calculation. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.